Now we are following a developing situation right in front of City Hall in downtown St. Louis, where there is a heavy police presence this morning as authorities are once again moving out protesters who've set up camp in front of City Hall. They've been there calling for the resignation of Mayor Lyda Cruzen, and this is not the first time protesters have been forced to move. News Force Caroline Hecker is live there with the latest, and Caroline, I can hear them. It sounds like the situation is getting tense. What's going on? Well, Paige, it really has in the last 15 minutes or so. A lot of those protesters that had been camped out on the front steps of City Hall were over here on the sidewalk uh, in front of City Hall. And then all of a sudden, they started running down this way on the sidewalk. And now what you can see is you've got a big, long line of city police officers essentially holding the line. You can hear them chanting. And I was just down there about 10 minutes ago. A lot of screaming, a lot of hostility. Uh, very, very tense situation. Like you said, this is the second time now in about three or four days that this group of protesters in particular has been removed from City Hall. It started about five o'clock or so this morning. Like you said, a lot of police presence down here. Actually, if you drive downtown this morning, you're going to find that near Market and Tucker, there's a lot of intersections that are closed off to give police the ability to make sure that they're able to clean and clear this area safely. But as you look down here, like I said, there's a lot of police officers. There's a lot of yelling going on down there, a lot of screaming at the police officers that I was witness to just a little bit ago. We talk about what some of these protesters are looking for. Like you said, they want Mayor Lida Cruzen to resign. Uh, and they told us yesterday when they were out here that they come out in shifts. Uh, they had couches and air mattresses and things like that. I want to pan over a little bit so that you can see uh, if we can. Out here in front of City Hall, we've got power washers, city crews. You can see they put up the barricades. They've got a couple of trucks that they've been unloading those metal um, fences out of and hopes Ideally, uh, we're assuming to keep protesters off of the city hall front steps where they were. Uh, but again, the other important thing we were told by some of these protesters when we were out here yesterday morning was that, remember, they had been removed from the property early Friday morning and they were back as early as six or seven o'clock Friday night. So one of the things they told us was no matter how many times they get removed from the property here by the city, they will be back. So what you're seeing is what's left, again, of some of the protesters that were out here early this morning when it was dark, uh, when the city came in and basically removed all of the property that they had and are finishing up the cleaning process. Uh, so we will continue. Like you said, this is developing. There's a lot of hostility down here, uh, and we will continue to monitor it as the morning progresses. We're live in downtown St. Louis this morning. Caroline Hecker, News 4. Caroline, thank you. Obviously, just a couple minutes after 6 o'clock on a Sunday morning, not always a scene you see at this time of day. Um, but as you noted, these are the protesters who have been camping out overnight. Uh, so that kind of explains why all this is going on so early this morning. Caroline, we will check in with you again later this morning.